Hey guys, so it is Sunday the 4th of January and um, it's my last day of my holiday. I have to go back to work tomorrow and it always doesn't bear thinking about. Uh, I suppose needs must, right? Needs must. I've just finished editing my vlog for last week. Uh, it's currently exporting and um, you'll be watching it pretty soon. It's very, very dull in my opinion, but um, today is not going to be much better. I'm going to be getting stuff ready to go back to work, do more editing, uploading, such like. Um, as you may have noticed, I'm in a completely different room in front of my computer. I have moved it from the back of the house to the living room because it makes it closer to the hub and instead of getting one or two bars, I get the full five bars. So until I get a Wi-Fi booster, I'm probably going to be using my computer through here. Um, but I'm in the corner of the room on a table that never gets used, so yeah, I'm hopefully not in anyone's way. Um, yeah. I'll introduce you to another cat since you've met Timothy. I'll introduce you to Peely. Well, his name's Dr. Pepper, really. Sometimes we call him Peely, sometimes we call him DP, sometimes we call him Mr. P. Sometimes we call him Baby P because he is, he's a little baby. Hey, Mr. Man. He's now really interested in <laughs> the camera, is reflecting us. <laughs> he's reflecting a circle of light on the wall. He thinks it's the laser pen. Why is it with cats chasing little dots? that you know you can't have. Anyways, I already had coffee. Um, I'm probably gonna have um, more coffee. I need to do my Sunday coffee morning post. And um, do I want breakfast? Do I not want breakfast? To the question. <laughs> so I decided on breakfast. Porridge, peanut butter, Mm. Yum. <laughs> and I made more coffee. Yum. And then we have a Mr. P. Basking in the sun. Hello. <laughs> I haven't vlogged much today. I'm still on like pretty much the same attire as I was earlier on. Um, I didn't really change out of my pajamas today. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Sunday. Don't really have much to do. I've pretty much either been here or through in the other room doing some um, major spring cleaning. Three massive black bags full of clothes to go to the charity shop. There are things I'd looked out before and I'd bagged them up and then they went into the spare wardrobe and I just kind of forgot about them. So they're gonna go to a charity shop sometime either this week or next week so and we went through everything that's in storage boxes and got rid of a bunch more things and I found a pair of sunglasses that I've been looking for for like a year um, so that was a boost and um, yep so now I'm cooking dinner we're having scampi chips and beans so adventurous but it's been a while since we had scampi. I love scampi. It's nice. I'd rather have scampi than fish. If that makes sense. I don't... I'm not sure. Is scampi... Actually, I'm right from the computer. I'll look it up. Is scampi shellfish? What is scampi? I know it's quite bad. I don't know what scampi is. Uh, yeah, it is a kind of crustacean. Uh, hmm. Cool. Scampi. Norway lobsters when prepared or cooked. Kind of lobster. Good to know. Um, apart from that, all I've really been doing is um, I need to reply to comments. Bad person need to reply to comments. Um, I've been fiddling around with 
some stuff for my blog and get HTML links to work and editing pictures from last night and uh, just another boring day for me in front of the computer. Tomorrow I go back to work. That'll be fun and um I'm not going to the library tomorrow after work anymore. We're going to Asda. I need to go get cat food because we're almost out of cat food. But I'll go to the library on Wednesdays because it's open late on a Wednesday. I'll take you guys with me. And then and um, not much in the way of entertainment today. I'm sorry. I'm a bit tired as well today. But yeah. Anyways, I better get on and get all this finished, otherwise I'll be here all night. <laughs> I do like to load myself up with stuff to do. I mean, it's it's not it's not a lot. It's just time consuming having to like resize and arrange text and save everything and just having to do uh, little things build up and niggle and all the irritating. And I'm sick of listening to my own freaking voice sick of it. After like <laughs> um, over this past weekend I've spent like four hours listening to my own voice and it's oh how would you guys put up with me? How? That's such a boring voice. <laughs> Anyways um I don't know if you can hear that that's my mum singing in the other room. Like you're in the corner of the room and that way is my parents' room and I can hear my mum singing. Um, she's got her headphones on and she likes to do that on the computer. I'm guilty of it as well. And that way, luckily it stopped, but the neighbours next door, they had a crying baby that went on for ages. And um, mischief. You haven't met mischief yet, I don't think. There's mischief. She is our little girl. She's Timmy's sister. Little miss. She's not the most friendly of cats. Um, she doesn't particularly enjoy people walking up to her and um, she doesn't like electrical goods either. She hates the Hoover, hisses at the hairdryer and I can forget ever taking my lady shaver out, my electric shaver. She will beat it. So, there she goes. I mean, she's not vicious or anything, she's just really scatty and when she gets scared she's like out with the claws and swipe and um, ta-da, I don't know. You'll see that, but yeah, I have quite a few from her. Um, she just gets freaked out really easily. We don't know why. She's been like that since we got her. Um, we don't know if maybe the people who um, who had her mother were like mean to her or anything. They're from. She came from this kind of hippie commune place just outside Aberdeen, and. Um, when we went to collect her and Timmy, um, she was inside a pool table, so... And she ran like mad from every member of the family. And she didn't calm down until she was safely inside the box and in our car, so... I don't know. She's calmed down a lot le recently, but she's still a bit... <laughs> Anyways, I will probably sign off for now. I don't know if I'll, if I'll vlog anymore today. Depends if anything spectacularly interesting happens. I might show you my dinner. I don't know. It's, I'll check in later. Good morning. Good morning. It's about 6.08. Good morning. Good morning to you. Oh, I should have been a singer. Um, yeah, it's 608-ishness. 609 now, apparently. 
um, on Monday morning. Yay. Rocky Poos. Oh, 14. I love this cup. I'm sure I've shown this cup before. It's... Oh. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's too hard to drink just yet, though. That cup was my grandmother on my mother's side. She used to come around here and she used to moan that we didn't have big enough cups for tea. So my mom went and bought her one. And, um, yeah. I got to keep it after she died. Because no one else wanted such a big cup. Um, not a recent event. She passed away back in, like, go. When did she die? 2001, so she passed away about 14 years ago now, almost. Maybe 14 years in November. Not that y'all needed to know that, but there you go. Don't worry, I'm not all sentimental over it. She wasn't, not to speak of the dead, but she was not my favourite relative. Did not like that woman. Um, but yeah. Fun fact, so early in the morning. Um, I'm just kind of setting up my blogs for the day and then I'm gonna go get ready for work. Being as it's so early, I don't actually have to leave until. Like, I get up this early because I need to, to like actually be awake and functioning to deal with people. Um, and I like to do things before work, like um, odd bit of washing or whatever. Um, so I don't like this whole thought of just getting up, going to work, coming home and trying to get everything done in the evening and picking up an hour or two earlier than I need to in the morning, I will. Um, but I also do need to have time to adjust to being awake and functioning and it makes me less cranky and less scatterbrained, so... Yeah. Oh my god. I've also decided that I'm going to try and exercise today. Possibly. I just need to decide which exercise DVD I'm going to do. I have like a five um, that I sort of go between. My favourite is the Mystery of Sound Pump It Up one. You know, don't you know, pump it, you can still pump it up. Um, came out in like 2004, 2005 ish -ness time period when I was in school with that Call on Me video. Like that, all most of the stuff they do in that column you do, you, you do in the in the pump it up DVD workout, and oh lord, your thighs are gonna burn by the end. So, gonna get that a go. But yeah, I'm gonna drink my apple tea now and get some stuff done and then get ready for work. Um, I might show you the seaside. Because it's usually really beautiful in the morning. If the sun's good, of course. So I'll say that again. It's usually really beautiful in the morning if the sun has come up. Um, like the way I walk to work, you just round the corner and you see the sun cresting over the lighthouse. It's, it's really beautiful. I'm really lucky to live right here. I take it for granted far too much. But yeah, I'll show that to you. Didn't I tell you it was pretty? Not as good as it could be, but it gets better day by day. Hey guys! So I just finished my first day back at work and it was okay. I was kind of floating on that back to work kind of cloud thing. So nothing was really bothering me like it usually does. And um, I kind of got really tired towards the end of my shift. Um, it's, it's I think like either just before or just after five, we got out a little early, so that was cool. 
um, I'm just gonna go meet Nick. I'm kind of walking down past the the Kidona's amusement park, and um, I'm going to go meet Nick. And we're gonna go buy cat food from Asda. That's actually where I used to work about four or five years ago. I used to be a supervisor there in their children's play area. <laughs> Oh, that was a soul-sucking job. I would not recommend it to anybody in the world. The only time working in a theme park or an amusement park is good is if you're a student and you need money over the summer. Hey guys, so I'm back home now. Back in my normal place in front of my computer. Um, having dinner, I'm having um, vegetable soup and some bread. I don't know if I am going to exercise tonight because I'm pretty tired and I have a bit of stuff to do on here so and I wanted to get some writing done because I didn't do any at all this weekend so yeah I'm going to enjoy my soup mm -hmm. dessert. I'm having popcorn sweet popcorn guys, so it's now like Tuesday the 6th of January, I'm almost at work. It's pretty cold today and I think it's gonna rain and I don't have a hood or an umbrella, so today's gonna be fun. And I have this horrible feeling that today it's like gonna be really busy and I'm gonna get really tired, but we'll see. So another day, another dollar finish work early again today. We actually got out while it's still technically daylight. It's probably the first time I've finished work in technical daylight, well apart from Christmas Eve. Um, probably since part way through November. So yeah. Kind of sucks working where I do in the winter. It's, it's dark when we go in and it's dark when we come out. <sighs> working nine to five, so sometimes we're lucky if we get any daylight. Never mind sunshine. But this afternoon the weather was like glorious. Like this morning I said I thought the weather was going to turn really bad, and it did for about an hour. It was absolutely stunning it off the ground total torrential rain for like maybe all of like 10 minutes and then it was just sort of um, slight drizzle and then in the afternoon it was like glorious sunshine I mean yeah it was still freezing but from if you're inside it looked like it was summer uh, <laughs> so anyways I'll check in with you guys once I get home morning guys, sorry I didn't vlog anymore last night, and sorry for my appearance. I basically got home last night, had my dinner, lay down and slept. I didn't even take off my makeup, nothing. Like basically like it shook me awake and told me to get into bed. Oh. I'm so tired. Oh gosh. I'm just gonna take me a little while to readjust to working again. Probably. I'll be fine next week. I'll be fine. I think I slept from like 7 o'clock until like 5 minutes ago. It is now just going 6 o'clock. So I, I had a left over sleep ish, give or take. So. Yeah. And today's. Um. Oh shoot, there's an alarm going off on. I guess I got hit snooze rather than switching the damn thing off. Um, what was I saying? Mm. Once I finish work today, I'm off tomorrow. I suppose I have. Um, what was I supposed to have a consult tomorrow with um, a prospective bride? Prospective bride being my best friend's sister, so you know. No pressure. Um, oh my god, my eyes are like watering. So I need to, when I get home, I need to wash brushes. 
and set out a few things. I need to pick up some foundations tomorrow for my kit in her colour because I did have a foundation palette and it's just kind of sat there lightly used for like two years so it's you know I can't use it on clients anymore um because it's out past it's used by date um so so I am back from work and I've picked up some things for my um consultation tomorrow with Ashley the bride to be and um, I was kind of hoping she would come to my little office and then we'd have everything ease of access obviously I would tidy first obviously um, but she's asked if I could come up to hers so I had to rush out and buy things to transport things in so I think I have enough um, I'm thinking putting foundations and such in here this thing would make a handy kind of brush holder thing I don't know if that goes no it doesn't that was quite handy it's got like these bits are detached that one's detachable this opens up so I've got a pocket there I've got a pocket there and then I've got this pocket down here and then I got this guy which has three bags in one which I'm thinking of putting like eyeshadow palettes and liners and some lip products and such like in here so I do have a little training case which will be perfect for the day of the wedding but for the consultation I'm gonna have to bring so much more stuff so yeah and while I was at it I picked up um, a copy of Brides magazine to give me some idea of what the modern bride is looking for and I picked up a copy of this magazine just to give me something else ew what's that ew, I'm on, I don't know where you get Kiko products from we don't have a Kiko up here but yeah so I picked that up and I also had to buy some foundations and such because my palette of foundations that I had is kind of out of date now so I need something for clients um, so I spent £72 on makeup today that wasn't for me trust me it's very painful um, <laughs> So I have a gel liner, um, I did a review on the emerald version of this which is why I bought the black version because I trusted so much and then I bought black and brown in Rimmel in the coal pencil format, I, I trust the coal pencil so so much. I basically bought the money, I bought, I bought the products I could afford with the money I had and products I trust. So. We have our eyeliner situation sorted, we have a waterproof a version of the mascara that I adore, the Masterpiece Max for foundation. I have um, two, for, two colours in the lasting performance because um, I need the darker foundations than the one I have because not everyone's as pale as me. Um, we have the Colour Stay concealer in two shades, we have the Touche Magique in two shades. And then we have a pan stick because I wanted to try some kind of oh there we go I wanted to try some kind of cream contour plus if I need some heavy duty concealer pan stick is pretty good for that so now I just kind of need to get all my other stuff together clean my brushes get some sponges and skincare such and eyeshadows and yeah. Um, I'll show you once I've got some of it out. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. I'm actually in the process of sanitizing everything. I'm just waiting for those eyeshadows to dry and then I can put them away. Same with the lipstick, so just finished sanitizing those. So I just need to wait for them to dry. So I'm pretty much set in here. I'm gonna have like 
liners, cream shadows, primers, lip liners, and in here is all face and base products, obviously. Lipsticks here are going to be going into this bag. Um, I do need to sanitize and sharpen these pencils and lip liners and I need to go into town tomorrow morning and buy some gloss because I don't have a poop. Thing is going everywhere. I don't have a gloss so I need to buy one. All my glosses have been opened and stuff so yeah there's that. And then in here we have eyeshadow. So I think I have all my bases covered. It's the first time I've really done this and it's like my best friend's sister and I'm really freaking out and I don't want to fuck up and yeah so you know I've done it like really like playing around and stuff but this is like my first paid gig so yeah freak it out a little can you tell guys, so it's now Thursday the 8th of January. I so suck at dates. Um, today is the day of the consultation. I have to pop in town and pick up a few bits and um, yep, just had my shower. I'm gonna go do my hair. Um, I was gonna curl it and stuff but I didn't dry it last night so well, I didn't have my shower last night, so <laughs> my hair needs to be like proper dry before I can curl it. So I'm just gonna blow dry it and see what happens. I don't often blow dry my hair because it takes ages. It almost takes as long as it takes to curl my hair, and that takes like a good 40 minutes. So, yep. Anyways, um, I better make a dash and, um, get ready. I wanted to see this is what my hair looks like when it's freshly blow dried. Um I used Bio 5 heat protectant and I also used um the thick and full 3D boosting cream from Charles Worthington and um through my hair you know Tilted my head upside down and blow dried my hair that way and um yep now it's all very big and soft and fluffy and in my face so I need to find something to do with it so for the time being it's gonna go on top of my head that way it doesn't fall flat so let me go get dressed this is Friday the 9th apparently we had a really bad storm last night because the power is out and our power never goes out. And the annoying thing is, it's just on the side of the street. Like, the power, the power line for our street splits right up the middle, so across the road, have power, we don't. And it's not really fun trying to get washed in front of a sink with a candle. It makes you think, feel like you're in some kind of creepy horror movie. So, um, yeah, we're these are um, like from Poundland, they're like candy scented candles and um, I've been keeping them because I was going to clean them out and put stuff in them. So I'm kind of glad that I did because they've made excellent tea light holders so I'd recommend keeping a couple in a cupboard somewhere with packed tea lights just in case you have a power cut. Um, so yeah. Hey guys, sorry I didn't vlog pretty much at all yesterday. Um, today is Saturday the 10th, and I'm also sorry that this week's been rather dull. It's like, my first week back at work, so I've been a bit lackluster, I suppose. And, um, yeah. Well, yesterday the power came on not long after I left, so it wasn't a big hoo-ha or anything. And when I came back, I pretty much was fairly beat. I didn't even have dinner. I had a nap. I watched some um, some kind of like documentary things on BBC4 
It was cool. It was like the history of British metal or something from like the 70s to early 80s. It was cool. It was interesting. And um, I watched some film with Mark Wahlberg in it. I can't remember what it was called. It was, uh, it was bland. Um, Thursday, I've pretty much done nothing as well, having a, a lazy pyjama day. And um, I kind of got bored being lazy <laughs> and decided to do stuff, so yeah, I'm going to do stuff. Um, we're also going to um, re-glue the drawers onto the drawer fronts onto my drawers in my office because they're starting to like pull off as I open the drawers so that's going to take a bit of time and I need to put away the stuff for my kit because when I came home on Thursday I was going to put it away and then I just didn't and then last night you know, I was out of commission so I still need to put that away um, I don't know if I told you about the, the consultation, it went really well um, we did a, a quick run through of a couple of looks and we settled on something that I'm going to work on and polish up and then the next time we're going to meet with the bridesmaids and come up with some kind of look because for them the theme is, um, well the colour family is like purples and like like golden warmness and um, we tried a purple look, it was really nice and it suited her but it just wasn't like wedding it wasn't like a wedding look, like if it was the engagement party it probably would have been perfect but not for the wedding day. Um, I will probably do a tutorial with that look because I really liked what I came up with so I um, can't wait to share that with you guys as well and um, yeah thank you guys so much for um, commenting on all my videos. I'm glad that you like the, um, the sort of uploading pattern I'm sort of creating. I've been a couple of days behind there. There was a few videos I needed to film and I couldn't get filmed on Thursday so I've missed a couple of days but um, I'm kind of just gonna film and upload basically. Um, I'm not gonna stick to any sort of schedule I'm just sort of gonna think of what do I want to film this week and then edit it and upload it and um, you guys seem to enjoy it this week, so awesome! But uh, yeah, the other thing I'm gonna do today is take some pictures and things for the vlog and uh, drink copious amounts of tea. I like tea. Um, so yeah, and I need to reply to a lot of comments. A whole lot of comments. I apologize. I'm getting to them. I am. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Anyways, I'll check in with you guys later on. I ordered some Chinese. If you're ever in Aberdeen, order from Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee is awesome. So I have your fried rice, boiled rice, chicken zette and skewers, bean sprouts, and honey chili chicken. Ooh. It's so good. And um, watching Melissa Parada. So, yeah. That'll be me for the next hour. <laughs>